Hello and welcome to another Q-Tip Tuesday. Today I have the first kinetic control tip for you all. Stick around to find out more. Before we get started, if you don't know what kinetic control is, check out the link below to learn all about it. Now as many of you know, with our old user interface and control software, if your program had a lot of B rotation moves, it had to wind or unwind to get to that commanded B position. This wasn't so bad when the current B position was a fairly small number. But there were times when the value was well into the thousands, resulting in long, slow winds and unwinds before the machine could move on to the next operation. Today I'm going to show you how to use one of the top new features of Kinetic Control, the B-axis wind and unwind command, also known as the M999 command. Let's jump into it. So here I have a really simple part and a couple of simple toolpaths made so that when I post-process this program, I will get G-code with a large B-axis position at the end of the operation. This first operation is a rotary toolpath that is set to spiral, which commonly results in very high B-axis values. The first step to making the new wind-unwind command work is post-processing the program. From there, we need to open the G-code in some sort of editor. On Mac computers, the G-code will automatically open in the text edit app. If your G-code doesn't automatically open, you can always find it in your computer's file browser and open it from there. Next, we will need to find the end of the rotary operation. This can be done by using the find function to jump to the beginning of the next operation, since each operation starts with a comment inside a set of parentheses. Once we have found the end of the rotary operation, we can insert our M999 code just above the start of the next operation. The M999 code must always be paired with a P value. This value is the B-axis DRO value that the machine is going to get as close as possible to using multiples of 360. That way the B-axis will not have to wind or unwind any more than a maximum of 360 degrees to get to its next position. Some math could be done to figure out the most ideal p-value for this scenario, but for simplicity we are just going to set it to zero since that will still significantly speed up the unwind process. After adding the wind unwind command, it is important that we save the change to the g-code file before we close the editor. Now that we have the g-code post-processed and edited, we can take it to the machine and run it like usual. To demonstrate the difference that this can make in the length of a program and show the behavior that the machine will go through, here's a back-to-back -back comparison of the same program starting from the same line on the same machine. This is the original program that has no wind-unwind code added. The total runtime for the two operations was 4 minutes and 7 seconds. This is the program with the wind unwind code added. By watching the mark on the stock, you can see that there was much less unwinding. The total runtime for the two operations was 3 minutes and 28 seconds. Well, that does it for this one. I hope this helps those of you with kinetic control shave down those run times. If you have any questions about this or anything else Pocket NC related, don't hesitate to reach out. Until next time, happy machining.